First you draw a circle, then you dot the eyes, add a great big smile, and presto! It's Kirby. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Slime Bus here. Welcome back to another video today. Welcome to my let's play of Kirby's Adventure. Here is the famous Kirby of Dreamland. Right or left makes Kirby walk or dash. Press the A button and Kirby jumps. Slide the press slide by pressing both A and down. I press up and Kirby can fly over stuff. Press the B button makes him inhale enemies. Press down and eat to eat the inhaled enemy. Kirby can take their enemy's power. Fire, youch, Kirby uses a fire attack. Just hit select to drop his special power. Spark, this electrical attack paralyzes. Ice, freeze an enemy and then toss him. Kirby is a brave when he has a sword. Take a nice walk for a short break. Kirby burns up for a powerful attack. When a big enemy is defeated, you can eat him. Backdrop. Kirby can use six tricks with to win. Whoa, I haven't seen that move. Kirby has lots of moves. Try them. And that we will. That's it. See you in the game world. Kirby's Adventure. One day, the peaceful life of Dreamland was shattered by a mysterious crisis. The inhabitants didn't dream. On the edge of Dreamland, dreams and hopes... Dream and hope once rushed forth from the dream spring fueled by the Star Rod. Nice Undertale reference there. Under investigating the dream spring, Kirby found a naughty DDD swimming in its magical waters. You naughty DDD. DDD had broken the Star Rod and given the pieces to his friends who were ho uh, hiding in Dreamland. You know what Kirby has to do. To bring back the lost dreams, Kirby sought the Star Rod. And Kirby's adventure begins. So we're going to start with Kirby 1. Onward to Vegetable Valley. So this is the second game in the Kirby series, as you guys know. And this is probably the only... This is the first true Kirby game. Because the original game was quite short. I mean, Kirby games are traditionally, sh traditionally short. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so this one is, you know, actually longer. We have a world map here. Uh, Kirby can actually run. He can also... Uh, hold on. Down B. There we go. He can also slide. That's a new ability. Uh, this isn't a new ability. He can, you know, fly. Uh, inhale. So yeah, let's begin with uh, level 1, because we have to beat this whole world here today. So let's go ahead and run through the world. And immediately get hit, because that's how my game works, because I suck at Kirby. Anyway, right there, that was, surprisingly enough, not a Waddle Dee, but a Waddle Do. So this is a Waddle Do, it allows you to get beam. I'll be putting on screen what the enemies are called and uh, what ability you can get from them, if, if any. That right there is a Bronto Burt. Uh, I actually have no idea what those guys are called. Uh, we did recently see a Waddle D, like there. Uh, if you do lose your ability from getting hit, you can always suck it back up, but I missed it there. Uh, let's go ahead and he keep heading forth. Uh, eat that, we get the fire ability. I don't know what those guys are called, but I know they give the fire ability. They return in many, many Kirby games to come. You can still uh, float with your, even if you have an ability. Ouch. That kind of hurt. But yeah, uh, oh. alright, let's get this really quick, actually no, I'm gonna, uh, yes, but I want to press select there because, as many of you guys know, uh, uh, press select, please, uh, drop it, select, okay, so, what you want to do is you want to not do what I just did and enter in here, and, uh, I am so bad at Kirby, Anyway, go under here because it one looks different, and suck him up, and 
we get the very OP special power UFO. It is the one and only Kirby ability that, well, actually, it is not the one and only Kirby ability in this game that has multiple abilities, but you can shoot out fireballs. You could have basically beams ability. So you have, yeah, beam, if you're moving, or, uh, yeah, so press this button. Uh, you have beam, essentially, you can hold it, and then you can shoot out a blast. Smaller blasts look like this. Oh, wait, so when you're stationary, this happens. But when you're moving, you can do that. So, like this. Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe you just have to hold it. Yeah, there you go. Then that's how you do it. Alright, so now we got a maximum tomato there. That allows me to, uh, revitalize all of my health. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, uh, drop UFO right now because hit the down arrow when Kirby has an enemy in his mouth to copy the abil ability special ability. And I wanted to show you that because there is a unique one for every Kirby ability. Alright, so this is the end screen. This is the first end screen in the Kirby series. Again, another tradition. A uh, little end mini game there, and each one uh, results in many, many a point except for number one which hopefully we can get in the series sometime uh which actually nets you a few one-ups so let's go ahead and go in here because there's another opportunity to get one-ups welcome to crane fever use the buttons to move the crane and try to get get a kirby a one a big one's hard to get but it's worth it <laughs> excuse me there uh so uh in this game you actually you can't actually move the d-pad you actually have the whole day until you think you're at a good thing, which that was not very good. Um, but just like real life carrying names, there are rig, which you're not gonna end up getting your prize because the game is so bad. I hate crane games and I'll never ever get the Kirby. I'll try my dangdest, but I don't think I'll ever get it. Oh, maybe we got it this time. Looks like, ah, oh, so close. I'm not going to save state for that. It's really just the live thing. Uh, the big ones give you two lives, and the small ones give you one life. All right, well, that's unfortunate, but I guess we have to move on to level two. So, so far, we've seen UFO. Uh, that's a Gordo right there. This is a Cappy, I think they're called. Uh, yeah, a Waddle D. Oh, wait. This is the first ability that we saw in the previous level. Kirby fires a beam that used uh, that used by enemies. This weapon is easy to use. Oh, uh, this right here is actually it, it actually is an enemy. It's called a shot. So, uh, this right here is I don't know what it's called, but this nets you cutter. Kirby can throw a series of cutters that return like boomerangs. So if we throw it, boom. And actually, what we want to do here, which is something I recently found out, is, nope, not that. If you just move off screen just a little bit, the star disappears. Hmm, where am we going to go? Well, I guess we have to go forward. Welcome to the secret HAL room. Welcome to HAL Laboratories, everyone. This is also a tradition in many Kirby games. That's a... You don't actually get the sweep ability in this game. Uh, I'm trying to break these blocks just for funsies. But uh, yeah, this is the secret howl room. I believe there's only one in this game. Um, there's multiple in later Kirby entries. But uh, yeah, I don't believe we can actually go back now. But let's see. But uh, basically, in this Kirby game, there's actually... Oh yeah, there is. There's a glitch that basically disappears the star, and you can actually see the Secret HAL logo. And this game was actually remade around the time of uh, the Kirby Right Back At You show. So the remake, uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, uh, actually still had the still had the. Uh, the, the game Nightmare in Dream Mind still had the the HAL room there. However, it's not, you can't actually access it because uh, the glitch isn't in the game anymore. This right here is a mini boss. This is the first mini boss in the series. Oops. Uh, come on. 
This is the first mini boss in the series. Uh, this is a Poppy Bros Senior. We earlier we saw the Poppy Bros Junior. Uh, I didn't actually say anything about it, but welcome to Crash. This allows you to. Sh it's basically a a oops. Uh, this is actually a what's it called? A uh, God, what is it? A screen nuke. Oh crap! Uh, I didn't want to actually kill him or delete Crash. Crap! I did it again. Okay, so. Basically, you can choose to suck up the ability, or you can choose not to. Uh, but basically, he just throws bombs. Uh, let's drop this and suck him up and get crashed so that we can pause. This power will defeat enemies on the screen, but you can only use it once. Yep. So, usually he would give you the bomb ability, but not in this game. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, so here we go. Here's the fire ability. Kirby can breathe fire. Enemies beware, or you're gonna get burnt. Get burnt, Waddle D. Get burnt, Poppy Bros Jr. Poppy Bros Jr. doesn't actually give you anything. Um. Uh. So yeah, it it would give you bomb, of course, like I said, but uh, yeah, bomb isn't in this game. Uh, right here, we get underwater Kirby. So underwater Kirby can shoot, spout it's everywhere. However. You can't actually use some abilities underwater. The only abilities that you can use underwater are abilities that um, actually have weapons. Uh, I think that ability, yes. So this ability is Spark. I don't think we actually showed it off. But Spark, you just shoot a thing everywhere. And using Spark, we can do this. We can get the maximum of tomato and get the... Uh, the health that we've been uh, needing. Uh, those guys, again, don't give you anything. Uh, and this guy uh, also doesn't give you anything, but he's one of the main characters in uh, Right Back At Ya. Oop, we have a new ability here. Uh, oops. But yeah, you, you have to suck them in twice. That's their, like, ability. Also... Enter Kirby's dream Kirby's adventure lag. There is a ton of it. Anyway, enter sword. Yep, this is the one of the weapon abilities. Use sword to defeat enemies. If you attack in the midair, Kirby will spin and slash. And yeah, so there's actually a separate ability here. So if we jump and slash, we do as like a little spinny attack, but on the end it's just a slash. On land it's just a slash. Alright. Oh, I thought it was a holding thing, so I have to do it as low as possible. Alright, we'll try to get that one. Sorry if there's a lot to explain. This is the first episode and, uh, and all. So, uh, yeah. So right there, we unlocked World 3. And as you can see, these little things right here, they sort of build out our world here. So this is level 1 Vegetable Valley, by the way. I forgot to mention that if I didn't. Uh, but in later uh, episodes, we will actually, we will actually be um, exploring different parts of the world map because... Uh, there's actually something called secret switches. Uh, these secret switches, uh, duck. Uh, these secret switches basically allow you to unlock more of the level. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, th those are collectibles for this game. Usually Kirby games have collectibles, and like I said, Kirby Streamland, that's a cabo. Uh, Kirby Streamland didn't actually have any. Ooh, alright, here we go. Enter Fireball, the second fire ability. Kirby can turn into a flying red ball. Jump and attack uh, in a flash of fire. Boom. 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 I love this ability. Whee! Whee! But of course, it's not as fun. Wait, did I actually read Spark's ability? Uh, oh. Uh, crap. Go back in the door. Go back out. Oh, go back out. Did I actually read this? Kirby can create fireworks like sparks in his body. This is a great defense. All right. I don't think I actually did, but I kind of want... Uh, 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 uh. I kind of want fire. Thank you. Ooh, I don't know that guy's name, but he's an interesting enemy. He can appear underwater and above water. Like many enemies. There's a couple underwater enemies that it can... That it, 
Ugh, that can appear both underwater and above water. Oop, yes, this is what we wanted. Fireball, baby. Fireball. I'm gonna get copyright strike for that. Um, lag. Oh, crap. Nope, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. We. So yeah, you might be wondering what that weird like thing on the edge of the screen is. Uh, that's not my recording software or the emulator. That's literally the game. The game is has like a weird bar glitching issue. I don't know how to fix that. It's just part of the game. Um, but yeah. Anyway, look, there's another mini game here. Again, like I said, here's a colorful display of enemies with special abilities. Eat one if you want. So like I said, uh, this is a traditional, the first traditional Kirby game. Uh, there's actually sub areas and little mini stuff. There are sub games. Uh, this right here is the museum. It's always available to you if you need a copy ability right away. It's basically a free ability. Crap. Uh, let's not do that. Like I said uh, in the Kirby's Adventure game or the Kirby Streamline Let's Play, I suck at game at Kirby games. Uh, enter. Mr. Frosty. Oh. Oops. Uh, can I suck him up, please? Thank you. All right. Enter Freeze. The first... Oh. Get in my belly. Kirby can create a shield to freeze enemies. He can then knock them away with the frozen blocks. This is basically Spark. It's essentially the same thing. Uh, so you just freeze them and you can, like, chuck them. But there's actually a second ice ability that people tend to like more. Oh yeah, you can. It actually has a second effect, uh, and uh, difference to spark. You can actually like launch them. All right. Oh, there's like a spiky enemy, kind of like Mario. A spike top. Oh, 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 oh. Kind of reminds me that uh, there's a new Mario Maker update, and I'm super excited. I didn't even see any of the footage yet. I really want to see it. Uh, I would like you, please. Thank you. Fuck. Uh, sorry. No. There we go. Oh. There we go. Alright. Well, this this uh, this uh area kind of looks familiar, don't you think? Oh! <gasps> Who's that? I wonder who that could be. Anyway, enter a Hyper Kirby. Beam. Oh, wait. I guess there was an ability for the... But yeah, this is basically a superstar from Mario. Oh, there's a 1-up up there. I kind of want to get that. Honest, and to be honest, I kind of prefer sword, so I'll take that. There's actually a weapon here. No! Can I have my ability? Crap. Well, it's the end of the level anyway. <gasps> Wait, did we get it? Ah, oh, so close to number two. Well, at least we're kind of experiencing each of the levels. All right. Oh, and I think that's the end of the level or end of the world. So how you know you actually completed the level is that the uh, you have the flag here. That's how you know you completed it. And how you know you completed 100% is that the door is actually white. Uh, exit stage. Um, the door is actually white. So, yeah. Uh, and of course, this, this will actually become more important in later worlds. All right. Welcome to... Wispy Woods. You can't actually get hit from getting touched here, which is interesting. All right, so all you have to do is hold down the button, spit, spit it back at him, spit it back at him, spit it back at him. Boom. And you can't actually get hit if you're right here where I'm at. Oh, oh, and we did it. Are you ready? Welcome to the first Star Rod. Clear, Kirby. <laughs> Welcome to level 2 Ice Cream Island, and that's going to be it for today's episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But first things first, before we do end the episode, if you enter in this door, you can actually go back, and the uh, end clear level is actually a go sign now. Um, right up here, we have the warp star door, but we can't actually access it until we access other warp star doors and other worlds. You actually have to unlock them 
in the other world. So, without further ado, I'll be ending the episode off, and next time we'll be taking on Ice Cream Island. See you guys next time. Bye.